you may be rigging your Optimus sail for the first time, or some people might find some tips in this video helpful for tuning their Optimus sails. Um, so first we're going to talk through rigging the sail from scratch um, and go over some of the methods and pieces of um, line used, different sizes, uh, skinny lines and slightly bigger lines and getting bigger in some parts of the sail. So this is kind of my standard rigging kit um, which are available in a pack and uh, kind of simplifies um, rolling the sail out from the bag and getting it onto the mast and getting it ready to use. Uh, this applies to pretty much any Optimus dinghy so um, we'll talk through it. So a good idea first is to set out all the different size bits of string uh, and the ones that go along the boom are slightly shorter um, of the sail ties. Uh, the, the reason for that is when they go around the mast they go twice around and on the boom they just go once around so a reef knot is the chosen knot for these uh, and the trick is to do the um, put the ties on the the left side part of the sail first and just go around twice tie a reef knot and that will get you started and um, put those in place so one two three four five six of those um, and then we'll spin the sail around so before you fit the sail to the mast it's a good idea to tie the fit the sail ties along the boom uh, so that's where you take your shorter shorter lines and just go once around tie a reef knot and that's uh, that's how those go on there I've got a spare one of those So it's a good idea to line the sail up along the boom so you've got the, the clue to the edge of the sail, uh, the clue to the edge of the boom. It's a good idea to do that with this because you've got like the outhaul cleat and the main sheet point and you don't want to be kind of tying a tie alongside of say the, the main sheet strop. So it's good to offer up the sail to the correct part of the boom save you a bit of time down the line and these don't have to be set up a perfect distance from the boom just yet we can make those adjustments when the sail is rigged this is really a basic um, rigging the sail uh, a sort of standard way Uh, get, just get the sail up and on the mast really. Uh, we'll talk in other videos, I'm going to make another video about the different tuning settings. So this is really just to kind of get you started. So that's now with the sail ties along the boom. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six ties with reef knots. Um, the next bit is a good idea to do the, the clue strap. So this is where you pick up your slightly larger string. It's not the biggest string. Uh, and this goes twice around the boom. And it, you might be able to see there's a, we've got a bowling in one end of that, a tiny small bowling. So you loop it through the, through the eyelet, around the boom, go twice around. And this one is quite good to get it tight down close to the boom. And I just tie it, go through the bowling, and then you've got a half hitch, and then I put another half hitch in as a stopper knot. That's the clue now fastened to the boom. So you've got an outhaul rope. 
through the clue eye and it goes inside out inside out and then along the boom to the cleat and it's good to have something to fish that out with screwdriver anything will do that so you might have a preference of not here some people might just put a bone in I put these little um, kind of loop through knots just means you don't have a a um, like a potential loop to catch on so that is just a, a sort of dead end really um, so that is the sail rigged on the boom uh, just got one more tie at the front so you get the other length of line the same we tied the clue down And this one goes at the tack side. So I loop it through and again you go twice round and it's the same. It's got the small bowling at one end. Go twice around, loop it through and I do exactly the same knot on this one. So it's a half hitch and then a stopper knot and all these lines are cut to length so they're, they're all the perfect length for that that's the sail wigged on the boom and spin the sail around now um, now I've set this up without the, the toggle which are these little things um, quite widely available um, you can add this in for this video purpose I'm just keeping it simple and it's to start you want to take your um, sprit tensioner just unhooks from the mast so you've basically got a clean clean tube to thread the sail up now it's worth noting that they don't fit the boom as we slide it on. We actually just go through the. Um, this should come as standard on e on every boom, like a new boom, but it'll probably be on on the current boom if you're rigging an old um, a second hand boat. Um, so these these are preset on this one, but the same with the the boom, just do a two round loop and a reef knot with the tie provided and just loop these on and just the trick is to stack them don't necessarily pull the sail all the way down just to stack, stack them on the mast Uh, making sure you've got the sail the right way up and that you're not flipping one of the tyres to be upside down. Uh, now you, when, once you reach the top you can slide the sail in. And hopefully you can find out the new right way up. got the, the cleat here so you've got to just push thread this stuff through helps to turn the cleat towards the boom and then the slide that is working away now now we can connect the boom to the mast. You've got your loop there, 
which just goes over the, there's like a retainer on the front of the mast there. So that goes on. Now you can fit the, fit the uh, sprit tensioner. So that's, I've just got to grab a burgee a second. Okay, so for this part, we've got two lengths of line rigged up. These are preset, um, and the way I set this up is um, with a bowline at one end. Let's undo it. Ooh, that's tight. So we've got two loops here, you've got one that goes threads over the top of the mast. So that's a, just a reef knot pulling the sail in close to the, uh, the back of the mast. Now the one with the bowline you put in, what happens here is uh, we push the Worth pushing a loop through through here, Burgi goes in. So the Burgi just catches that through the back. And then again, poke a loop through. And you're just looking to find the Burgi again. And where the where these come in is um, you can use them either in the top or the bottom. The most popular is to use them in the bottom here. Um, but in this case, just to keep things simple, get your sailing. We've got. Now then, to set the. This one here really controls the distance for the marker here. And uh, what we can do is just kind of slide the sail up and make sure that your limit marker sits within the two um, bands on the mast. And then actually just tie that off as a good starting point. I'll probably talk at some point about tuning this, but just to, we're talking about just basic rigging the sail for the first time or rigging up a second hand boat. So now we're going to fit the sprit. So you hook that, hook the sprit tensioner back into the mast, and we're ready for the sprit. Uh, it's actually written in the class rules. The sprit is fitted to the starboard side, uh, which is great because basically the boat comes off the start line, or should come off the start line on starboard tack, and it means that uh, the sail looks clean on that side. So loop it on the top of the sail first. So I've looped it on the top of the sail. It has got the hook part is actually on one side of the of the sprit. So you lay the bit the flat side behind sits next to the sail. So hook that on. Hook the sprit on. Put the sprit on, and now we we'll just thread the kicker through. Now this is cut over length to go over the boom. 